On behalf of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri arrived in Uganda's capital Kampala, heading Egypt's delegation in the 19th round of non-aligned movement summit. The two-day summit kicks off on Friday, where Shukri delivers Egypt's speech on behalf of President Sisi, in addition to holding a number of bilateral meetings with member states' counterparts. The meetings tackle bilateral relations and uh, consultations on issues of mutual concern, in addition to current regional and international challenges. On the sidelines of the 19th round of non-aligned movement summit in Uganda, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri met his Belarusian counterpart, Sergei Alenek. The two top diplomats tackled means of enhancing cooperation in several fields of mutual interest, including heavy industry, railways, food industry, as well as agricultural mechanism. Shukri and Alienek agreed on preparing for the convention of the upcoming round of the Higher Joint Committee during the first half of 2024. Shukri and his Belarusian counterpart also agreed on the launch of direct airlines between Egypt and Belarus, paving the way for an agreement which allowed the Egyptian airlines companies to operate irregular flights between Cairo and Minsk and to link the Belarusian capital with Egypt's resorts a move that will increase the inflow of Belarusian tourists in Egypt. The talks also covered the latest developments in Gaza and Egypt's efforts to ensure the access of humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip without any obstacles and to reach a ceasefire. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri held talks with his Indian counterpart Jayan Chankar on the sidelines of the 19th summit of the non-aligned movement in Uganda. Shukri and uh, Jai Shankar reiterated their adherence to implementing mutual objectives of the movement. At the various bilateral meetings between President Abdul Fattah Sisi and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi reflect similarity in the developmental priorities and the political stances of both countries to achieve stability and peace on the international level. Shukri also stressed the importance of benefiting from the high-level visits between Egypt and India during the last year. The Foreign Minister added that these visits will support the implementation of the Strategic Partnership Agreement between Egypt and India, as well as enhancing the bilateral relations in various fields. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Nbouli followed up on the implementation plan for the recommendations of the National Dialogue, which resulted from the first phase of its sessions ending in August 2023. The Prime Minister stressed the keenness to monitor the steps taken to translate the recommendations of the National Dialogue platform into procedures and work programs in continuation of the government interest in following up on all discussions of various sessions. The Prime Minister added that the government aims at dedicating the role of this national dialogue, which was launched by President Abdel Fattah Sisi for dialogue among all factions to draw a map of priorities for national action towards the new republic.